everyone has a story and it's very, very, very important for us to reflect where we are from and where we are going. I used to suffer from malaria a lot. At least every week I would miss three days of going to school because of malaria. And growing up, there are a lot of activities that involve some energy and sometimes they are fun, but I used to be left out of those such activities because they thought they would affect my life. I was very, very small. I was a tiny kid that I was called by my fellow schoolmates, Obdambu Nyanya, which in English, it's life of a ready tomato that is very, very soft. When you throw it down, it, like, it breaks because it's soft. My name is Nalu Vega John. I'm 22 years old. I'm from Uganda. I'm the founder of Uganix, a company that aims at creating a malaria-free world through blending our mosquito repellent components into everyday products like soap. The raw materials that we use are grown naturally by the communities. We use palm kernel, we use olive oil and shea butter that are good for the skin. We sell our soap to resorts at a high price at a profit margin of 50% and 85%. Then we can be able to cross-finance the sales for the low-income earners in different communities. Right now we are at Nkozi Hospital and we came to carry out an awareness campaign about malaria to the newborn mothers and also to pregnant women. We are going to get a baby and 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 we are going to get a baby. We are now at the Social Innovation Academy. It's a place that empowers marginalized youths like refugees, former orphans. It empowers us to become social entrepreneurs, to create employment, to decrease the rates of unemployment in Uganda. Every time I give a session, I learn something new about the specific topic that I'm talking about. It makes me feel good that I'm transferring what I know and my experience to other youths. I'm highly passionate about fighting malaria because I suffered from malaria a lot when I was young. So I have this motivation to see malaria no more. We have communities that we've been working in for like a year. So there are families you go to in those communities and they are living healthy and they are telling you, my kids have taken long without suffering from malaria. And it makes me feel like I'm making a difference. And even if I just save 10 people every month, it's worth working for. <laughs>